we're already back in lockdown again anyway, so. Good morning, guys. Happy Saturday. So today I am going to do something I haven't done on this channel in a very long time and I'm actually going to do a weekly vlog with you guys. So today is Saturday morning. I literally just finished working out. As you can see, no makeup, no hair done, in my workout clothes. Still a little bit sweaty, but that's okay. Um, so today, guys, I am going to show you guys some of the things that I'm actually doing today for my Saturday. Um, I actually have quite a few things on my list of things to do. First of all, of course, I have a photo shoot that I'm doing later this afternoon with my girl Christina. Um, we're actually going to be shooting, you know, pretty locally around here just to get some shots for Instagram as well as for the Styling Tea site. Um, and then I have, oh my gosh, what else do I have to do? I have, I actually have some YouTube videos that I need to shoot as well as some reels. So I'm going to show you guys behind the scenes of the shoot as we are actually shooting on location. Um, but first, well, before we actually get this day really started, let me just show you a couple of the items that I did actually get recently that I'm shooting today because I, I literally just got this box in from Zara um, and I'm really excited for these items. I'm going to do a full explanation of the items in another video, but I just want to show you guys some of the items that I have and what I'm shooting for today because it's really good. Okay guys, so the first item that I actually picked up are these really great lug flat, or we'll just call them flat lug boots, but it's really a, a lug boot style trend that is very reminiscent of the Gia Pernil um, high combat boots that have been popular all fall season long and even into the winter season. Um, I did actually do a blog article um, that I shared on my Instagram of the the best dupes to actually get for Gia Couture Pernille boots um, because those boots are so popular they're selling out like crazy and it's hard to find them especially in this color. I actually originally wanted the Gia Pernille ones um, in this color but they sold out in my size and I've tried to find them everywhere and they're they're not easy to actually locate so these ones that I actually purchased, um, I got from Zara. I tried these on yesterday. I actually always go up half a size in all of my boots just so that way I have more room, especially if I'm wearing um, socks, like really chunky socks. But these shoes are amazing. So I love those boots just because they're easy to wear. They're very comfortable. So I'm actually gonna be styling those shoes um, in another video and I'll show you guys exactly the different outfits that I'm wearing with that But I'm gonna be wearing those boots today um, For my shoots. I'm super excited and then let me just show you guys my rack of clothing So this is all of the clothing not everything that I'm shooting But these are all items that I've recently received or items that I am currently getting ready to shoot to um, post on my Poshmark site, so if you have not checked out my Poshmark store. I do have items that I actually um, list for sale. So you can purchase some of the items that I am no longer actually um, in need of <laughs> in my closet. So they are available for purchase on there. Um, I am actually stocking more items on the site um, this week. So there's gonna be a lot more items for you guys to actually check out. But another item that I actually got is this this one outfit here I'm actually going to be wearing today but I actually got this really nice copper tone um, uh, knits uh, this knit set that I actually picked up from Zara so the shirt itself was $39 as well as the top and I went a little bit larger in this top just because I've noticed that some of these shorter tops actually um, are a little too short. Like I don't really want something that actually shows my midriff. So the, the skirt is actually a midi and it actually um, is a medium. So I'm glad that I got that in a regular size. Um, but I have this whole monochromatic brown look that I really actually want to put together. 
Um, let me, okay, guys, um, let me just share with you this outfit that I also got from Zara and one of my issues with this. So I love this knit loungewear set. Like just feeling the, the texture of it, it's really, really chunky. It's um, a nice quality of knit. But here's my issue. I'm gonna tell you what the issue is. So I got the matching pants, right? So these are the pants. Sorry, it's a little hard to do this with one hand. What size is it on? Is it this size? Okay, so I got these really great knit jogger style pants, right? So you can see at the bottom, it's tapered at the bottom. So it's great to actually wear with boots. But when I opened it, this is what it came in. So I don't know what's up with Zara because I would have thought that if you're ordering something online and it's coming from their warehouse, that the security tag would not actually be on this. And unfortunately for me, it is. So I do not have time to take this back to Zara today, unfortunately. So I am going to have to just wear this and style it and then take it to my local Zara store, which is about 30 minutes away from me. Um, well, the good one that I want to go to is 30 minutes away from me. So I'm going to actually take that to Zara tomorrow and have them remove the actual um, security tag because that is not a great user experience. So I'm just going to say this now, like Zara, I'm going to need you guys to do better because I'm, I'm, I'm not cool with that. I'm really not cool with that. This is why I order online so I don't have to go in store. I personally am not a shopper that likes to actually shop in store a lot just because I really don't like being in large crowds. Um, it's not like a social issue or anything like that. It's just I don't like waiting in line. So I don't like waiting in line. And then I find that a lot of times that for me, I just want to get in and get out and then move on about my day. Um, which is why I don't like going to stores because you're literally just going through all the different racks to find different items. And so I'd rather spend my time online looking for the things that I want and then just purchasing it and, and you know, waiting for it to come in. So that is another item I'm actually going to shoot for today. Um, I have this really great, you know, well put together look that I'm excited to put this with. So I'll show you a couple of the pairs of shoes as I pull them out. I have to actually... I have to put everything together today um, and get it ready within an hour. I literally have like less than an hour to do hair, makeup, well, shower first, hair, makeup, pack up everything up and then be ready because Christina is coming at 2.30. So we're shooting today at 2 from 2.30 to 3.30. So I'm trying to get four looks done in one hour and Last time we shot, which was last week, we shoot literally every week, but last time we shot, I was able to get three looks done in 30 minutes, which was, which was impressive because there have been times with me shooting that it has taken me an hour to do four looks or longer, sometimes an hour and a half. And it's not, it, it's really just because of fact, like when you're a content, when you're starting out as a content creator, like you're, you're pretty much putting yourself in situations that are not necessarily normal for you. So I am shooting outdoors, which means I am changing outdoors. I am changing in my car. So I don't know about you, but changing in your car and and I have a small car. So um, it's a two, it's not a two seater, but it's a coupe. So there's not a large amount of space. So me trying to change in my vehicle, it does take time. And then not only that, like, trying to find you know areas where like people are not gonna see you or like changing and trying to keep your clothes on all the same time like it's <laughs> it's a little bit of a challenge so I'm working on it I'm working on it but yeah so my goal is to try to get to the point where I shoot four looks with and get my entire shoot done in an hour including reels so we've been able to actually get a few reels in um, when we shoot within that hour and a half and that kind of also adds into the time as well so today the goal is to actually get two reels done as well as four looks shot um, for next week's content so literally the new the content that you guys are seeing on my Instagram by the way, let me stop and say this. If you're not following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram at the styling tea. This is where you can actually see daily inspirational tips and tricks um, that I am sharing with you guys to help you with your own styling needs. So there's a lot of really great content that's actually on that channel. And normally there's always stuff that I actually share on that channel first before it even drops on YouTube. So definitely check that out. Follow me. 
um like i said there's so much amazing stuff that's you know just coming out especially in 2021 because i'm really getting into my creative juices right now and i'm really actually tapping into all the different ideas and pushing myself you know um a little bit more than what i did for 2020 um because i literally started in 2020 so this year it's time to start ramping it up and really showing like how creative i can actually be so um but either way um sorry i was rambling for a minute i literally forgot what i was about to say that is a sign that I need to go ahead and get moving and get started with this day. So I am going to leave you guys here and come back after I get dressed. And then we are gonna go ahead and get into the shoot. Okay, so I finally have my makeup done. Most of my cosmetics that I'm wearing are from Mellow Cosmetics. My eyes are Mellow. My um, highlighter and my cheeks are both from Mellow. Um, my foundation is actually um, a mix of Laura Mercier as well as Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez. Um, I did a full video um, beauty review on that. Um, so check that out on my YouTube channel. Let me just show you really quick what I'm actually wearing because I am running late and I'm supposed to be already shooting. So do not mind the mess. But this is the outfit that I am actually shooting. There's but these flippers. I'm just actually wearing them so that way I can be comfortable. But I have like a, a, a full monochromatic look that I'm actually going to wear with this. Um, so with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the shoot. All right guys, so we are here for our photo shoot for today. We're just gonna shoot um, pretty close in my neighborhood. Um, so we're shooting about four looks today. I'm trying to get this done in literally an hour time. I am gonna go ahead and set you guys up on my tripod and then Christina, who is right behind me. Hey, Christina. So she's gonna go ahead and take all of our shoots. So it's about three, almost four o'clock in the afternoon. So, which is a really good time to actually shoot because we have really good lighting. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. What's up guys so i am back home we have wrapped up this shoot we did not actually get to shoot all four looks just because um we we're running out of time and um by the time we even got to the third look it was already past five o'clock and um i didn't actually realize that if i'm gonna be shooting four looks i need to actually start shooting no later than 3 p.m um just because of the fact that by five like there's really not a whole lot of light left so I'm back home. 
Um, and I have a lot of stuff to clean up right now. And then I need to, I'm gonna actually re-straighten my hair again because my last look I was actually wearing a hat and I kind of have like a little bit of hat hair, but um, I have my YouTube video to shoot for tonight. So I'm gonna just, you know, let you guys see me clean up a little bit and then I'm gonna go ahead and get myself ready for this next shoot. Okay, so just really quick, you guys, this is pretty much, I already kind of did a little bit of light cleaning, but literally this is what my house looks like after just shooting, um, and just being, like, in shoot mode day. So, like, I literally just don't have all my weights left out. I've got boxes everywhere, the stuff that I need to either unbox or stuff that I need to actually sell. Um, so, <laughs> my house normally does not look like this, but this, like I said, this is, this is what a typical work day looks like. Um, so I am, need to actually get my account back in order because I hate clutter, I hate, I hate disorganization, to be honest. So, I'm about to clean up a little bit, and then we'll move on to the next day. is straightened all over again looks a lot better um let me just show you guys really quick my outfit because this is also one of the items that i actually shot today but it's so cozy 
<laughs> it honestly is so let me just show you guys exactly what it is that I'm wearing so don't mind the lights behind me because that's the stuff that I'm using to actually shoot but I know you can't see all of this just right now but this is a full knit loungewear set that I actually got from Zara and it came I literally just got this in the mail yesterday and when I tell you guys this literally feels like I am wearing a full blanket I literally feel like I'm wearing a full blanket like I'm actually a little hot right now just because it's so warm but it's the coziest loungewear set I've ever put on my body so I'm just gonna move this out the way so I can show you guys the full outfit you can see it's a little bit better okay so this is the um this is the top the, the shirt actually goes a little bit further down and then the pants are very high-waisted they come like all the way up like to like the mid part of my waist um and then of course like as far as the rest of the outfit let me just bring you down okay so the pants come all the way down they're actually um they're jogger knit pants so they are very tapered at the bottom of the leg. So these are great to actually wear with a pair of boots. And then I am wearing my um, furry slippers or furry slides that I actually got about a couple years ago from Ted Baker. So let me just show those up to you guys really close so you can actually see. But this is what the shoes actually look like. They're really cute. They're actually really cozy. I got these from Nordstrom's about three years ago. And they're literally like my go-to slides to wear in the winter time. Um, just so, just to kind of put something on that's a little stylish and cute, but also that's really comfortable. So for now, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get myself ready for my YouTube shoot. So I have a couple of lights that are actually set up because obviously I'm shooting a little bit later at nighttime, but also my, uh, my actual apartment does not get a lot of light. So I do have to use um, lights to kind of help um, offset that. So let me just put you guys down real quick. Oh, you're a little low. One second. There we go, much better. Now we're eye to eye. Okay, so um, the last thing I'm actually going to do is just put on some earrings just to kind of bring the outfit a little bit together because this is going to be a sit down video that I'm actually doing. So I do want to have some type of some type of glam on camera just to kind of, you know, make it look a little bit better because obviously the only thing that you're going to really see in this video is just the top part of me. So I'm going to go ahead and wear these earrings that I actually purchased from Diana Broussard. So if you have been following my channel, you will have seen these these earrings like a million times because I've worn them so many times. I got these from Shopbop last year. They are completely sold out everywhere. Like you can't find them anywhere. I will try to do a Google search to see if I can find them for you guys. Um, but I can't make any promises because in all honesty, I don't even know if Diana Broussard is even making jewelry anymore, to be honest. I've gone to the website and didn't see anything. She used to have an Etsy store and that is now gone too. So I don't know what happened, but honestly, like I would really love to see her come back with more jewelry because her stuff is amazing. I mean, it's just, it's, if you're looking for good statement jewelry, like her stuff has always been good, but look, so this is what the earrings look like. And it just, it's just such a nice like statement piece of jewelry. Like I don't have to add anything else to this. So, um, oh, really quick. So the, the um pixie spray that i showed you guys in um while i was actually getting i was actually doing my hair that is a pixie glow mist and i got that actually from target i use that whenever like i use it after i apply my makeup i actually use it for a multitude of things i use it to after i apply my makeup so that way it works as a, as a nice glowing setting spray but then i also use it um during my skincare like at nighttime especially at nighttime because there's oils in the elixir that help to keep your skin you know looking nice and moisturized as well as provide a natural glow to it so i usually will add that as like the last 
piece of a uh, product that I add on my skin before I complete my nighttime routine. And then if like if I'm gonna go work out and I just want to, I don't want to put on a whole lot of like heavy skincare products. I usually just wash my face, put on a little moisturizer, and then spray my face with that. Just because it's a nice, it's a nice mist. So it literally is one of those products you can use for daytime, nighttime, and then also to set your makeup. It's not gonna be like. If you're looking for something that's gonna like allow your makeup to stay long term, this is not the spray for you. So this is just basically to, you know, make your skin look a little bit more glowy on camera more than anything else. So um, I will put the link down below in the description box so you guys can actually shop the product yourself. But if you've never heard of uh, Pixie skincare, trust me when I say this that their products are actually really good. I might actually do a skincare video featuring pixie products and just share with you guys my review my opinion of the products that i've used so far um because that might be helpful so let me know in the comments below if you think that would actually be helpful and in the meantime if you have not subscribed to my channel and you've made it this far in the video go ahead and hit that subscribe button right down there below i mean you might as well go ahead and do that i mean i'm pretty sure you probably have already been checking out other videos that i have on the channel so let's go ahead and just make this official. Like, let's just go ahead and commit to being friends. So, and then also make sure you hit the notification bell and like the video. Like, if you really are enjoying this, like the video so that way I know to continue to keep pumping out this type of style of content for you guys consistently because this is my first time getting back into vlogs. I kind of put those on the back burner. It was something that I started out with um, just to get my feet wet in terms of, you know, starting a YouTube channel. Um, but I started it you know, when there was literally nothing going on. I mean, we were in lockdown and so my vlogs were literally just me working out and then going to the grocery store. So if you like that type of stuff, like let me know in the comments because I will continue to share with you exactly what it is that I'm actually doing. Um, even if it's not really a whole lot of anything. I mean, we're already back in lockdown again anyway. So um, I, I have to say for me, I didn't mind the first lockdown. This one is not that, it's not that bad, but I will say my, my extroverted side is starting to get a little bit of an itch of like, I want to get out. <laughs> so I, there are times when I'm, I'm really just feeling like I want to get on a plane. I want to travel somewhere. I want to go somewhere. I want to go out to dinner. Like I want to wear all of my outfits that I have um to other places besides just the grocery store or you know to run like a few errands here and there but at the same time like i understand it like we have to bring these cases down and stuff but i'm really hoping that we can actually get out soon so at least travel i'm really really hoping that i can travel this year because we obviously didn't travel in 2020 at least i did and i don't know about y'all but i didn't travel anywhere like i literally traveled nowhere so all right enough of rambling i'm gonna go ahead and sign off here and shoot this youtube video and then i will check it back in with you guys tomorrow happy sunday friends so um for today for the rest of my um weekend vlog as i mentioned to you guys yesterday on saturday i'm going to go ahead and head over to zara today because i have to get my pants fixed um, but I'm also going to share with you guys, like, I'm going to show you guys exactly what's new in Zara. So we're going to go check that out today. Um, it's kind of a light day today, to be very honest. I actually woke up early this morning and did another shoot um, for Instagram as well as for the blog. Um, let me just show you guys what it is that I'm actually wearing today, um, as well as the shoes that I'm actually going to be wearing when I actually go out today. Okay, so this is my outfit for the day. Um, I'm actually wearing these lug boots that I actually showed you guys yesterday that I shot um, for Instagram. These are actually from Zara. My skirt is actually an oldie, but this is a denim skirt that I got from Levi's. The bodysuit is actually a new purchase that came in from my most recent Zara haul. And then I threw on this simple jacket that I actually got from Nasty Gal. So this is basically what I'm actually gonna wear. Pay no attention to the rack of clothes behind me. I have run out of space 
in my closet so this is pretty much everything of what I currently wear throughout the day or not throughout the day but through the fall and winter season and then also for my sunnies I am actually going to go ahead and wear oh if I can get them on I'm gonna wear these blu-ray glasses that I actually got from Quay I think I got these actually last year so if they are still available I will definitely link them down below and then for my jewelry I have this um, gold link chain that I actually shared on my channel um, for my last video actually not my last video but it was my last shopping haul video so this is one that I I had actually purchased during the um, the end of 2020 sales so this one is actually one that I picked up from shop Bob um, this one is actually sold out unfortunately so that is pretty much it but yeah this is my look for today um, as far as my bag let me just see what bag I'm actually gonna wear so I think for my bag I'm probably going to go ahead and carry my Bottega Veneta dupe bag that I got um, from Amazon I think I'm gonna carry that one let's just see what that looks like it's kind of hard to do this with just one hand but we're gonna make this work yeah I think I might just do my Bottega Veneta dupe bag so just so that we can kind of have something that's in the range of oh yeah we're gonna do this one so I'm going to go ahead and carry this bag right here I'm gonna carry this one for today so we have the full look of just this you can see it and that is what I'm wearing today super simple very casual easy peasy it's kind of like an easy weekend style vibe just to go to the mall real quick and run a couple errands so let's get into it finally back from my trip to Zara um I am actually going to call it a day because let me just tell you right now that it took me it took me an hour and a half standing in line to get into Zara and then it took me another 40 minutes to get out of the store because of the line so I personally will not be doing a whole lot of in-store shopping um right now with this pandemic because of the fact that the lines are extremely long so if you are a big czar shopper i would highly recommend if you plan on going in store to definitely start going like really early because they're pretty much only letting um for every person that goes out that's how many people go in so you could be waiting in line for a very long time like even when I was leaving they were closing and even as I was leaving there were still people waiting in line just to get in there for the last 10 minutes of shopping that was left for the day so with that being said I'm going to go ahead and call it a early evening um thank you so much for watching follow me on Instagram for daily inspirational tips and tricks for your styling needs if you have not subscribed to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button hit the like button so that way i know that you enjoy this type of content and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys <laughs>